Hey guys, so it is December 1st, Christmas time is fast approaching. So here's a Christmas craft. I think I showed some of this last year. I don't remember, but I'm doing it again this year, so I thought I'd film it. So these are some ceramic ornaments. You can get these at Michael's. They come just like this unpainted. Uh, the round one is $1.99. And these crosses, which they also had, which I thought would be great for some people I know, uh, were also, how much were they? $1.29. So I took the ribbons off of them. On the round ones, I, I'm going to take this off. Last year, I don't think I did that. I think I taped them in the video. This year, I'm going to take them off. And I'm going to cut the string off, the rib ribbon and the price tag. So I'll put these back on after they're dry. I'm going to put a pair of gloves on because I don't want to have to go through the rigmarole it's going to take to get my hands clean after I do just these few ornaments. <laughs> okay, so the other thing you need are is alcohol ink, some alcohol blending solution, and or rubbing alcohol. So here's some blending solution. This is a sprayer. I think this one's got alcohol in it. Yeah. And um, something to blow with. So you can do this with a straw. And I got this idea for doing these at all from Patty Tolly Parish, and she used a straw, I believe. I found this on Amazon last year. This is a puffer thing. <laughs> it's for actually cleaning camera equipment. Works great for this project. So, uh, first what we're going to do is pick a couple colors. I try to, just like with painting, pick colors that are going to blend well. So I have a purple and a blue here. I wouldn't pick a green because it's just going to turn muddy unless that's what I wanted. But I may pick cranberry. It might be interesting. So let's try those three. Let's see. What else do I have? I have everything. Oh, let's do raspberry. I like that better. Okay. So I'm going to stick my finger in the little hole. I'm going to remove the caps from my ink. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't think I've used any of my alcohol inks since last year at this time. I'm going to use a paintbrush to put my globe on through the hole. Yeah. Put a drop. Now it's alcohol ink. It dries pretty fast. And it's going to move and blend and you're going to be able to help it along with the puffer and create something that's really pretty. The balls are really tricky because they're round, they're hard to hold, all of that stuff. So this is pool. This is raspberry. And the purple is wild plum.
Now at this point, ooh, I'm going to try not to drop it. There we go. At this point, I might decide to add another color. Let's try stream. It's a darker blue. I like to get most of the white covered. So the other thing you can do is re-wet the alcohol ink by spraying it with rubbing alcohol or blending solution. That'll help you push it around some more. If you get a fingerprint in there, it'll help you get the fingerprint out. So it obviously has to dry, whoops, there we go, before it can really show you well. I'm going to carefully, hopefully not drop it, stick it in there. Okay, the round balls are really hard as you see, I didn't even know if I, I don't even know if I got all that on camera, but it's really hard to maneuver it. You could leave the little thing in, which is what I did last year, and I just taped it and I used that to hold on to it. Either way you swing it, it's still difficult. The flat ones are a lot easier but they take longer to do because you have to do one side and then flip it and do the other side but I'll show you. I use the same colors because I like these colors. The trick with these crosses is to get it to go down the edges because you want to do the edge get the edges too. So really squeezing the air puffer. And blowing the ink until it goes all the way down the edges. But if you have alcohol inks in your stash of stuff, you can go out and get a few of these make some inexpensive yet very pretty Christmas presents. They don't cost much to do, they just take a little time.
So anyway, you just keep going at that till you get something that you like. Let it dry and then put a new string to, on it to have for, as a hanger. <clears throat> you don't really need to put any like clear varnish or anything on there, although I s assume you could probably do a spray varnish, but you don't really need to. I hope it gives you some ideas of some fun stuff to do for Christmas. All right, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you later.